Hello everyone and welcome to Backcountry Gear Shed. In this video I'll be showing you a minimalist survival fanny pack I've been working on. This pack will include an emergency thermal blanket, a prepared 4x insulated poncho, a 100% cotton bandana, a Life Straw Peak Series water filter, Millspec 550 paracord, a solar and hand crank flashlight, a Princeton Tech 450 lumen LED headlamp with red spotlight and low light modes, 12 hour safety light stick. This is a basic boo boo kit, first aid kit, has some band aids in it, nitrile gloves, some ace bandage material, uh, burn cream, hand sanitizer, antiseptic towelette triple antibiotic ointment. I tried to place these in here so they'd be visible from the outside so I could tell without getting into it what was available there. It's pretty basic, but at least there will be some first aid items available in this kit. Asunto A10 Compass. Victorinox Huntsman Multi-Tool. This contains five uh, cotton balls in Vaseline for uh, fire starting tinder. A ferro rod and striker, Bic lighter with Gorilla Tape, a signal mirror, and emergency whistle. The kit will also include a water bottle. I'm showing a couple of options here, and that the intent of this kit is to keep everything as light and as compact as possible. So some might prefer not to go with a water bottle such as this one. These stainless Nalgene bottles are great in that you can remove the lid off of these and use them to boil water in a uh, campfire which is a very valuable thing to have to be able to purify water. But some people might prefer to forego that and rely on having something like this filter and just stick to a plastic water bottle to have some weight savings there. So we'll look at both of those options. And this kit will be put together in this Tough Traveler fanny pack. This Tough Traveler pack, these are made in USA. It's like very high quality items has this nice water bottle holder attachment on it. That was a custom edition that I requested with that when I purchased it. I, I bought that about a year and a half ago. I really like what Tough Traveler has to offer. Unfortunately, honestly, it would be hard for me to justify the price at this point. When I bought this pack, it was pretty expensive, probably right around $80, the way that I have it configured here. And I went back to look just to see how much they're charging these days, and the price has gone up pretty considerably. You'd be looking at around $110, I believe, possibly before shipping for the same setup now and that'd be a little tough for me to swallow I'd, I'd probably end up opting for something a little bit less expensive it was pretty much pushing my limits at the around 80 dollars purchase price when i bought this a year and a half ago so i've been shopping around trying to find great options for fanny packs that i could recommend to you all i do recommend this tough traveler fanny pack if you have the money and you want to spend it you're, you'd be supporting a great company and, and purchasing a quality product at the same time but again, it's just hard to justify that price when there's some really great fanny packs out there at much lower price points. I've seen some uh, great looking fanny packs in around the $20 range. So when you're talking about more than five times the cost, pretty hard to justify. However, I have had a very hard time finding any that match this configuration in a lower price range. I like the relatively compact size of this bag paired with a, a water bottle holder that can actually fit a one liter Nalgene bottle a little tough to find them like that. So if you have any recommendations, please leave a comment below. Let me know. I'd love to check out some alternative options that might not be so uh, expensive as this Tough Traveler. As you can see, I've removed most of these items from their packaging. Those that will be removed from their packaging, I'll keep the packaging on the light stick, the poncho, and the thermal blanket for now. Uh, but I've unboxed the Life Straw and the Victorinox Huntsman, I want to take a minute to go over this. These are just great multi-tools, especially for a pack like this, where size and weight are a concern. I've been a Leatherman fan for many years, but I've never found a Leatherman that can compete with the variety of tools offered with this Huntsman in this size and weight. It's really pretty phenomenal for that and a great fit for packs like this, where you have the large blade, small blade for finer work, bottle opener, can opener, scissors, 
saw. These are actually very good saws on these knives. They can't cut a very large diameter piece of wood, of course, just based on the short length, but the teeth cut very well. These also have an all corkscrew and this little thing called the uh, parcel hook. These were originally for carrying parcels bound with twine, which you don't see a lot of parcels bound with twine these days. A lot of people might think these are useless, but they're really not, especially not in a pack like this one, in that you can use these to pick up those bale handles on uh, certain camping cooking pots, have like a wire handle on them, and you can use this to pick it up off of a hot fire. That alone makes it worthwhile in my opinion. to give you that quick look. Oh, and it also has a uh, toothpick and tweezers. All very good items to have in a survival kit like this. Another thing I want to show you is some, a neat feature of this life straw. This particular model of life straw, you can unscrew this end and it has threading in there. It's basically like a standard bottle threading, like a two liter bottle or a one liter bottle, you can screw that on there and then squeeze water through this, which will uh, increase your efficiency of, of filtering water and allow you to uh, squeeze it into a container. So that alone sold me on this. Uh, I have other life straw style filters, but this is the first one I've had that has that feature and it's very nice. So I'm pretty excited about that. Here's a look at how the contents fit the pack. Got the bandana, hand crank and solar powered flashlight, Princeton Tech headlamp, first aid kit, thermal poncho, thermal blanket, 12 hour emergency light stick, Life Straw Peak Series, 550 Paracord, the Cotton Balls and Vaseline Tinder, and in a smaller pocket, Sunto A10 Compass, Emergency Whistle, Signal Mirror, lighter and gorilla tape ferro rod and striker and the Victorinox Huntsman Swiss Army knife I realized one thing I forgot to mention with this Swiss Army knife I was touting how amazing it is for the the size and the weight and the amount of tools it offers I forgot to mention just what an incredible value it is these are available right now on Amazon for $28 US which you just can't beat that value. I'm just really blown away with the quality for the price in such a small size. I've been using these Leatherman tools for many years. I've tried a variety of them. I've used the, the Wave tool I've had the longest, almost uh, 20 years now. I also have a uh, MUT, the Skeleton tool, the Signal. It's a nice uh, survival themed multi-tool. I also have some of their smaller offerings the uh, Micra, the Style, but none of them offer what this one does in, in this size and weight, and, and also at that price point, just really phenomenal. So can't say enough good about these Huntsman Victorian Ox knives for a pack like this. Highly recommend them. Well worth the $28 asking price. As you can see, it fits in the pack pretty well. This is not too bulky. Feels very manageable. The overall weight is just over two pounds, 2.07 pounds for all the items I've just shown you. Now, when it comes to water bottles, to put in that water bottle holder, you have some options. This Nalgene bottle weighs in at 6.46 ounces. You just have to weigh for yourself if it's worth doubling that weight or, or slightly more than doubling that weight. This is 13.76 ounces. These stainless Nalgene bottles offer a ton of value though, in that you can 
boil water in these or, or prepare food even in it in theory they have a nice wide mouth so you could do more than just boil water in this if you needed to so these are great it's up to you if it's worth the weight of carrying 13.76 ounces in this case versus 6.46 in this case and adding that to the total weight of this pack which as i said is 2.07 pounds and then the water alone will add a couple of pounds to either one of these if these are full of water but either one is a viable option in this bottle holder as you can see it fit well in there so that basically covers the setup as it stands now if you see anything you think i've missed or anything you think i've added that maybe i shouldn't have added i'd love to hear from you love to see your feedback in the comments and uh, if you know of a fanny pack that would be a good fit for a project like this, I'd definitely be interested in hearing about that as well. I've been looking for a, a fanny pack that is similar to this one that matches the, the uh, size, basically, and, and offers a water bottle carrier that can hold this diameter of water bottle. And there's surprisingly few options out there that meet those requirements, at least that I've been able to find. There are tons of low-cost fanny packs out there. Most of them fit only smaller diameter water bottles. So if you have any suggestions on that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. I hit 100 subscribers yesterday, which I'm very excited about. I'm working hard on growing this channel, and I appreciate every subscriber. Thank you for watching.